Welcome back. Residents of Lagos, particularly those living within the Yaba area of the state, woke up to a sad incident of a collapsed building that occurred on Saturday, February 12th. Emergency management agencies confirmed five people dead and two injured. We followed some eyewitness images to report the unfortunate occurrence. <laughs> An excavator scooping rubbles at the site of a collapsed three-story building at number 16 Akonbi Crescent in Yaba, Lagos. For hours, the excavating equipment moves its bucket through the remains as operation to rescue those trapped on that wreckage intensifies. The incident was said to have happened around three, 10 minutes after 3 p.m. and we got the alert. Efforts were made by all the agencies, especially the Lagos State, uh, the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, the Ministry of uh, Physical Planning with the uh, Lagos State uh, Building Control Agency, NEMA and the police. We tried to get there as early as possible, but due to some challenges, we got there a bit, uh, maybe one hour after, and uh, before we moved in, we told those, the community members what to do, and they were able to walk before our arrival. On getting here, we saw the, the assessment was done, equipment from Lagos State Building, Lagos State Emergency Management Agencies and other agencies, including EMA, were brought in. Tensions grow as residents anxiously wait for results. At some point, it becomes obvious that more hands are needed. With the combined effort of emergency responders and community rescue volunteers, results start showing. Two bodies two, uh, were rescued alive before our arrival and as at now, we've recovered two dead bodies, all males. A resident in the area and a volunteer appears to be dissatisfied with the approach. He says lives could have been saved if volunteers were not prevented from the scene. It is not a strange house to me. I know people walking. Especially the Monday we have been shouting is here to be had. He's one of the security guys. So we know him. And I got here like after two hours. I realized the place was cordoned off. I was very angry. If you cordon off a place and you are telling people who want to rescue manually not to go in, then what are you doing? So I had to challenge them. If you are wearing uniform, wearing helmets or whatever, you are not doing something. People on the street want to do something. You are telling them not to go. You cannot allow. Even if these guys were dead, let us do something. That was when people joined. We started carrying columns, carrying beams. Well over four to five hours before the, the action started. My concern is lives were there. Search and rescue operation continues through the night. At the break of the next day, excavators are noticed sitting idly on the rubble at the scene of the collapse. It appears search and rescue operation are over as a number of casualties believed to be involved have either been rescued or their bodies recovered. It is pertinent to note that we recovered four bodies and the four bodies are in the mortuary. Again, we rescue one person. However, during the process of ongoing, another person was rescued. So 
totally, we have two rescued people from this um, collapsed building. We recovered four bodies. We are able to use both light duty equipment and heavy duty equipment. Gradually, steadily, we got to the um, Grand Zero at one area, but at the other area, we couldn't. It was a hackling task before we could get to the scene of the disaster. We appeal to good people of Lagos State that whenever they, in their streets, all these barriers should be built in such a way that the first responders will have access to any of their buildings. These are the issues that we encountered yesterday. Building professionals are also on ground for early assessment and stock taking. The result did not deter them to further inquire about any more missing persons. The Vice President of the Lagos State Chapter of Building Collapse Prevention Guild explains her findings. To start with, we've not seen the drawing. We have to see the drawing. When we see the drawing, we read it, then we can see. Is the drawing correct? That's number one. If the drawing is correct, the people that constructed the job, did they follow what is written in the drawing? I try and check the concrete. The concrete is okay. The concrete is okay. But what happens to the reinforcements? Are they properly placed? Is it the correct thing that was done? These are questions that will be answered. And another question is, when this construction was going on, because the normal thing is that when you pour a concrete, there must be concrete cube. And this concrete cube are supposed to be taken to the laboratory, test it, and know the strength of that concrete. Was it done? Or they were just working? These are questions that need answers, that we have to look into. A student on industrial training who was said to have been attached to an engineer on site is missing, and his family members are back to the site for information. The information we gathered was that five people were trapped in with the colleagues. And one of the persons that we rescued yesterday told us that five people were in there. And now, with that, we were able to rescue one alive. We recovered four bodies. When you plus one plus four together, it becomes five. So that is the information given to us by the person that we rescue. But however, as the emergency manager, we have to come back again to comb the area, to look at it holistically. We don't need to put any information by the side. That is the information given to us. With this new information, emergency management officials resume rescue operation. After hours of combing the rubble, one more body is recovered. The Colas building was one of the fastest growing structures in the area as a result of its proximity to the University of Lagos. For Labi Alimi, a construction engineer who lives in the area, weighs in on this as he offers his thoughts on what the state government should do to improve the regulation of building construction. Well, people are catching on on the investment opportunities which they have identified because we have the University of Lagos as having accommodation problems and what have you. That's not a bad idea, but the issue is how do you build, uh, how do you come up with proper buildings that would not expose, you know, uh, uh, occupants to unnecessary risk. And I can tell you, we have many in the neighborhood. Government needs, as a matter of urgency, to harmonize their roles. If it is just one or two, this is okay. Let there be definition of roles. Let them know who should give approval, who should monitor. Is it possible for anybody to build without approval? Scapta, no. Somebody somewhere is dropping the ball. Reports on building collapse continue to assume national discourse, despite efforts by government and relevant agencies to curtail the menace. This incident is coming three months after a 21-story building caved in in Ikoi area of the state, where more than 50 persons, most of whom were construction workers, died. 
For Mr. Sokusoya, the problem will remain until punitive measures are fully enforced without bias. It's, it's getting too much. The question is, is when we're having this thing, how many people are punished? When Senate God came down, I was member, I was a member of the committee. I was going with other people to the site. We did the investigation. We went to court. Report was written. What happened to that report? When that one is equal, it came down. I was on the field. We started the case. The case is still on. What happened? The one at Isaleko, what happened? As long as this thing comes around, and all we do is to bring bulldozer, bulldoze the place, but if we find out many casualties, write reports, and nothing comes out of the report, we will continue like this. And it's unfortunate the way we are losing life. It's very, very, very unfortunate. At the time of this report, the death toll stands at five. Rescue operations have since been called off. Hopefully, a report on the unfortunate incident will be out soon.